this is the game that we are going to develop today it's a boxing kind of game and you know when in case you press k so the, this is how the game is going to look like you know if you'll press k the boxer is going to kick and if you are going to press if you press b the boxer is going to box okay and this is the health bar for this hen let me just refresh the game once again and tell you how it works now how can we develop this game how can we code this game that's what we are going to see so this is the whole code that i have defined over here and these are the various sprites that i have created over here so i am going to use this player one okay and you know these are the frames that i have created for player one okay these are the required frames now similarly for walk and punch i'm going to use this one also so for walk and punch these are the various frames that i am using for walk and punch if you want to increase the speed of punching then you can just you know play with this option over here you just have to bring it uh, shift it towards the right side like this automatically the speed is going to get increased so for now we are going to keep it here uh, let's see what else do we have in the sprite section this is the sprite that uh, you know that is going to get reflected when uh, the health bar when the uh, player is going to die okay so this is a sprite that we are going to see on the screen this is player 2 box okay now this one we will be using for both kicking as well as boxing okay so on frame 5 we have got kick and on frame 4 the boxer is kicking 3 and 4 fine let me just delete this one for now because we are not going to use this and besides that we will not be using this one also okay and this is a ring that you're seeing over here that i have used as a background and this is a health bar fine now let's come on the coding part of this game so what is happening here is this is the you know these three codes i have defined for uh, defining the background over here on this uh, sprite area on this animation area sorry on this coding area okay these three codes we will be requiring so variable and the students who do not know where we have got this codes from so this variable we have got from here this is the one this back dot scale is used for scaling down the size of the background uh, so i have defined it as one for now so you can get this code from here this where is that back dot this is the one sprite dot scale so when you will put when you will uh, you know bring it here at this point it is going to be sprite dot scale now you have to you need to replace this with back okay because this is a variable that we are using with uh, using for calling the background right so this is how you can make the required ch changes and scale down the size of the background i'm putting it back this is the animation uh, for setting the animation to the background so this is the required uh, sprite you can pick this and drop it over here now similarly we need similarly we need a sprite for just a second why it is throwing an error i need to check that okay i think i have made some mistake over here i need to bring the player 2 back right 
I've deleted it in error. I need to bring it back because I'm using it in one of the, what we call, player to box. I'm using it in one of the, here I'm using it, man kick. So in case of this player to kick, let's make it player to box. Now, how about this? So it is going to look like this. Yeah, it is working fine. So it is okay. This is also fine. So that's how it is going to look like. Okay, and then where were we? Okay, so for this health bar, we have if we have got a variable over here hen health okay this is for this health bar that is getting reflected over here and these are the coordinates where i want the health bar to get reflected by scaling down health bar i've used this health uh, hen health dot scale option and then i have set this animation to this health okay so this is the animation this is the name which i have given to this health bar over here okay this is uh, the name of the health bar so the name the animation you know this name is coming from the animation part okay so uh, initially i'm going to i want it to remain uh, uh, remain on the first frame so this is how it is going to look like and that is the reason i have used this pause option over here Okay, if you will not use it, what is going to happen? You will see this red color bar moving from, moving from this side till this point. So in order to, uh, you know, pause it or in order to stop it initially, we need to, in order to uh, make it, in order to get the image of the first frame. What is the image of the first, on the first frame for this health bar? So for this health bar, we have got this image, right? On the This is the first frame, this is the second frame, this is third frame and so on. So in order to get the image of, the, of this first frame, we need to pause this first. So that is the reason I've defined this code over here. Then comes the hen variable. This I have used for this uh, hen over here. Okay. So th these are the coordinates and then I've set the animation to player 1 and I will scale it down to 0.4 then for the this hen that is coming from here from this direction okay that is which is coming from this direction I have used this I have made use of this hen variable over here this is uh, the block with which I have set the animation on hen okay and then it is hen did so this uh, is a variable that i've used for you know when the health bar when the health of this hen will uh, when the when it is when it will when it is going to die you know for that i have used this hen did option which just let me just show it to you so you know second punch, third punch, fourth punch, fifth punch, sixth punch and now the hen is going to die. So this, the animation that you have just seen, you know, so the hen has got converted into this, okay, into this dead player and initially I have the visibility of this, I have kept it as false. I do not want to see it initially on this ground, okay, so that is the reason I have defined it false I've defined I have written false over here and then uh, I'll scale it down to one fine now this is a variable that I've used for this men over here okay these are the three blocks I've used for men and then this is the one that I am using for Actually, I don't require these things, so I'm going to, let me just eliminate this part from here, because I don't require these sprites now. So you just have to select it and drop it, like this. Okay, and one variable I have used 
for uh, counting the number of punch or number of kicks you can say and accordingly the health bar is going to increase from this point to this point now comes how i have called up the called up all the sprites on this world area so for this i have made use of this functions tab over here from where can you get this functions tab you need to come on this world area and you can get it from here okay and after that you need to set the background to white so in order to set the background you can get the background block from here and this draw sprites block you can get it from this draw sprites over here okay so initially we want the uh, hen to move along the x axis like this so we need, in order to set the velocity we have used this hen dot velocity x and we have set the velocity to 10 and then uh, we don't want to see the uh, this man punching okay initially we do not want to see him punching so we have set the frame to 1 men dot set frame 1 this is the code that we have used for setting the frame of this animated or animation to 1 okay now uh, in order to in order to move this men in left and right direction like this in order to move him in left and right direction like this we have defined this code if key down left so men dot x because the men is only the x value of the coordinates of the men is going to change is going to get changed so if the left direction key will be pressed so men dot x will you know 10 will be subtracted from men dot x and if right key will be pressed from men dot x uh, in men dot x 10 will be added so this is how we can make this men move in left and right direction right now comes the code if suppose you want to make the men uh, box okay so how can we do that we can make use of the this if loop if key down b if key, key b is pressed so we want to see frame 3 of men what is frame 3 what is there in frame 3 of this player 2 box so this is where the men is punching right so we want to see frame 3 at this point so that is the reason whenever b key will be pressed the men is going to we are going to see him punching okay and similarly if you'll set it to 4 also you're going to see the same animation let me just show it to you so okay uh i i think we uh, three is fine for now so this is how the men can we can make the men punch right and then when the and when the man is punching if the hen is touching the men so what i want is the hen's exposition should uh, you know get decrease by uh, like this where the, the men where the men is standing at present so from there the hen should shift 350 units away from him so that is how i uh, this is a code that i have made use in order to shift this hen 350 meter away from men see this is how it is shifting right now uh, again what i've done is this is a counter variable that i've used for this health bar over here that you're seeing over here okay so uh, when the men will hit this hen automatically the counter the value of this counter variable is going to get incremented by one okay and accordingly the hen health frame will be set fine similar code similarly i've defined the code for this uh, key key k also when the when key k will be pressed the man is going to we are going to see him kicking okay so this is a frame which we want to see and accordingly the hence position will change and the value of this counter variable is also get incremented by one fine and now if the x is going to increase if the value of x uh, you know increases by 7 sorry if uh, if it will become greater than 7 so what is going to happen hen 
is going to get destroyed destroyed okay and hen dead you know the this animation this this animation i'm going to see now okay so for that i need to first define the scale we scale it down first to 1 and then i want to uh, see him see him visible on the screen so that is the reason handed dot visible equals to true i've defined over here i want to see him in play so that is the reason handed dot play i've defined and i want to see him moving here towards this side so here i'm going to write down here i've written handed dot velocity x equals to minus 7 so that's how i have dev made this game let's play it one more time and see okay we are able to see him so this is how we can play the game we can enjoy the game like this and if you like the lecture please do like and subscribe to my channel also please share the link of this game with your colleagues so that they can also enjoy this game and uh, learn coding free of cost on my channel thank you very much and have a great great day